Hello everyone, and today I'll show you how to get a custom crosshair in Fortnite. It's actually quite simple. So first just head over to the Microsoft Store. And then search for this application over here called Crosshair V2. Then install this. It's very important that you install this specific application. Otherwise, the other ones are, are paid for. So you'll have to pay for it, it's not free. Okay, so once you've installed it, then just click on it. And as you can see, we've got our crosshair. Now if you wanna hide this menu, you can press F2. If you wanna change the color, you press Z. If you wanna change the shape, press X. If you wanna change the size, you press C. So if you wanna use this in any game, whether it be Fortnite, Call of Duty, etc., you need to use um, windowed mode uh, let me just hop into fortnite and i can show you now that i'm in fortnite i can actually show you guys okay so you can clearly see i have the cross here but if i put it in full screen for example it just disappears see now you have no cross here so you have to use windowed full screen it doesn't even make much of a difference as you can see it's still the same so now I'm going to put it to the one I like, which is... Okay, it is both my bad. Okay, now, it's very important that you press F2 to hide the menu once you've configured your shape, like so. Otherwise, when you're building, this will happen. Turning on your vines, change. Okay, and if you want to um, uh, remove your reticle and you want that here, just go into your settings. Then you have to go to this video section over here. Then just click this thing over here and put it to off. For example, this is when it's on normally, it's like this. And now if you put it off, there it's gone. Now all you have is your your custom reticle or custom crosshair. Okay, if you want to close the custom crosshair, you just press F2 or F3 if your menu is already open, you just press F3 because this is exit crosshair over here. If you've already closed your custom crosshair, you just search for crosshair V2, click on it, and it reopens your crosshair. It's as simple as that. Okay, now let me put my custom crosshair back. It should save your custom crosshair usually, but I made a few mistakes while recording this video, so I think I changed it a mistake. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching. I hope everyone enjoyed and I'll see you in the next YouTube video.